everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Advanced. Uh, we just got the third badge in Hoenn, and we are currently going to Lovert Town. And there are two trainers in the way here, so we're just gonna have to battle them right here, right now. This is my favorite kind of Pokemon. I'm not a Pokemon. Show me how to put a little excitement into my life. Okay, let's do this. Um, Sancho and Rosaria. So yeah, we're about, um... Hmm. Okay, let's do it. We're about level... I don't know. We're about level 26 about now. And we're doing, we're doing okay. We got team of four, level 26. We're doing good at the moment. And I did spark my statue. Of course I did. Uh, let's see. Let's try a quick attack. And I'm sorry. Okay, that's better. <sighs> oh, maybe drain. This girl's early is quite a handful. But Lombrite always seems to come in handy somehow, one way or another. Oh! Apart from when he faints, of course. Okay, let's send in Merle, because Merle's gonna need the most training out of uh, all my Pokemon, pretty much. And I could tell it by mistake, but it seems to be helping. Attack. Hopefully we're not paralyzed again. And we are okay. Come on, Meryl. Meryl is so, you know... I like how defensive it is. Oh, a miss. That miss. <laughs> and the crit. Um, Chris... The, the miss, or... I think they both mattered. I don't know. Alright, Combustion, it's your turn. There we go. I'm sorry about that team. And I should probably go heal Merle up. Because we have kind of a long way before we, uh, you know, get to the next... What is it? Town? Okay, so we're going to... Oop, one more, one more. Well, no, not that many. Okay, we're... Another double battle, okay. Alright, let's go. So we're going towards, um, yeah, it's Lavrish Town, that's where the next gym is located. Uh, oh, however, it's a very long route because you can't go directly to Lavrish Town, so it's kind of a, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a struggle, but, you know, if we got a good team, it shouldn't be too hard and everything. Oh, uh, this is, this is already giving us grief. Uh, I'll just... Sword mode. There we go. Shuffle is kind of expensive. I swear, like, just whatever I do is just never, never good enough for sure. Uh, let's try nature power. I believe it'll be good attack. Oh, sweet, that's right. All right. Uh, let's just spark. All right, we did it. That's awesome. What is this? Elixir. Oh, that's a pretty good, um... Alright, what is this? Trainer of Hell Entrance. Okay. I challenged the Winstrate family, but four matches in a row is tough. They destroyed me. I think I'll battle them a bit later on. Just that we're kind of busy here. Oh, okay. Rock Smash. Snarls these Rock Smash. There we go. Okay, now we can get through. Ah, who is this? Oh, we just spotted a tough looking trainer of all places. Okay, roll camera. Let's get this interview. Yeah, it's those camera people. They, they're uh, interviewer Gabby and T.Y. I could have sworn he was always called TV. Like when I first played the game, I just, kept, I just read it as TV every time. I don't know. They, um, they, they sort of 
follow you around. Well, they don't follow you, but they, they appear around the region. You know, just where you happen to end up. You know. Come on, my sword. Not gonna have a battle good at all. And supersonic. Ugh. I think we have some potions. It would, it would be nice to have some potions on. I'll definitely go shopping at the next uh, Pokemon though. Awesome, awesome! Who are you? I knew we were on something wild when we spotted you. Oh, please let me explain. We travel around everywhere interviewing all sorts of trainers. So, would you give us a bit of your time for an interview? You will? Thank you. Okay, I need to describe your feelings about the battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Go! Um, Feeling. Anything to do with feelings? Um, let's just, let's just go for, uh, not important, I don't know, uh, happiness, I always do this random word, I don't know, hmm, yeah, that's the perfect culture, I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show, there's the chance they'll even air it on TV, so look out for us, okay, so there, Gone now. And another trainer. See, we see a lot of these sort of trainers around here. Picnicker trainers. They're pretty much uh, the uh, boy and girl scouts of the game. Of the Pokemon world. Ah, how much The miner is hanging in there. He's doing pretty well. Oh, Meryl. Um, I'll keep mine. I think my highest level is 26. It's 26 or 27, I don't remember. I'm full of pep. My Pokemon is peppy too. Alrighty, let's do this. Oh, same true. Uh, no. Oh, 27, okay. This is one that Moral can definitely uh, take care of. Let's use Bubble Bee. Central and evasiveness in the desert is very annoying. When I see a trainer with a lot of pep, I can't help looking. Alright, so here is the desert. The same storm is vicious, it's impossible to keep going. Man, look at this. Someone should call the authorities, I don't know. Route 101. You know what would be cool, like, um, you know how in uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, uh, the, uh, the Groudon and Kyogre, they start a drought and rainstorm, depending on the game you get Ruby or Sapphire, or both if you get Emerald. Um, but, yeah, they create the weather using their own powers, so, is there maybe a Pokemon causing the sandstorm to happen? You know, on that route? I mean, you never know. I mean, I know you get Regirock on that route, but... He doesn't really have sand stream, but that might not have to be the call. I mean, come on, sing with me! Alright, let's go. <laughs> Taylor. Hey, it's my name. Uh, Spark. Oh, Lombre. Um, let's use Combustion. I don't really train my team, like in a quick manner, it's sort, of, it's sort of evenly, so it might take a bit longer sometimes, but because it depends on the trains I'm battling, because, um, you know, not chimney cable car, a short walk, directional pad, up way. Uh, I think we have to go this way first, uh, an upper hiker. My legs are solid from pounding up and down the mountains. Okay, let's go. Hiker Trent, oh, it's the, um, it's the Judo guy you find in every game. Just like the Magikarp guy, and the Buckcatcher guy, I guess. I don't know, the Buckcatcher is really actually, um, pretty varying in this game, like they have Surf Skits, and Wormhole, Beautifly, Boldy. They're all, they're all pretty different, actually. Yeah, and hold on, the trains are actually, um, pretty, you know, uh, their moves are kind of... 
buried like that. Yeah, I like, I like the trees in this uh, region. Pretty cool. <laughs> no, that's my Pokemon. Oh, fine. I'll register you. Yeah, we got register. Yeah, we got Trent. So this is the fiery path. You can get some hot Pokemon here. Oh, who's that Pokemon? It's a coughing. Well, he's not really a hot Pokemon. He's, he really is not hot. Uh, Grimer. Neither is Grimer. Come on. Man. But you can't get some fire Pokemon in here, so it's worth looking around if you like fire types. Oh, trainer. <laughs> I'm somewhat decent. Okay. Grass types, I'm guessing? Yeah, Shroomish. Okay, Combustion? Let's do this? I don't know. Let's cook some mushrooms. Now, Rosalia. Let's uh, burn some roses. Hmm. I like Rosalia's design, but in shiny, I think. When Rosalia is shiny, um, one of its flowers turns black. I don't really like it, but it's cool. Two Ross Berries! Yes, I love the berries in, a, in the um, pollen region. I pick them all, pretty much. To be honest, I'm kind of a, um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a fan of the contests. And contests involve berries and props and stuff, and I like, I like them. I just wish that they introduced them, uh, well, brought them back into Gen 6, but they didn't. They have the battle maze on there, I guess. Who is this guy? I caught hot Pokemon in Fiery Path. Take a look. Okay then. Uh, what does he have? Not more. Yeah, no more nice. But Merle is nicer. <laughs> that thick bat. Two HP damage. Slugma. Yeah. So thick bat probably can come in uh, handy when you use when you use when you, when you want to use Merle for like a wall or something like that. I'm not sure if Azumarill keeps Thick Fat in, um, upon evolution. I think it does. But if it does, it's good for in-game. I mean, it's not, it's no huge power or pure power or whatever, but, um, it, it's pretty good for a wall. You know, it's defensive and, you know, pretty useful. Oh, cool trainer. Show me how you toughened your Pokemon. What does he have? An Electrode. Mm, you better switch out. In fact, I'm gonna use Combustion so we can use special moves rather than physical ones. Oh, Why? He got us. <laughs> Every Electric you see, it's like a 80% chance, 90% chance that they'll just paralyze you somehow. There we go. Critical hit. And Wilmer. Let's have block Combustion from the house. Flash. Oh wow. Oh wow. Come on. First of paralysis, now he has potions. Now a water gun. Do we have quick do we have like quick attack? No we don't. Why is he splashing? <laughs> I don't know. And Makokita. Well, only Merle has to level up now, so let's do it all to Merle. Bubble Beam. And he's focusing his energy, but I can't get enough. Oh! Oh dear. Oh, that's okay. I think Battle Pro does... Uh, I think it always goes last, but it always hits. I don't think I do that, actually. I request a rematch if it behooves you. <laughs> Alright, we got more phone numbers to hit up. Uh, who is this little guy? What's that? What am I doing? I'm thinking about making my own room here using a Pokemon move. I know, I'll give you this TM. Will you use it to make your own room? Huh? TM 43, huh? Find a big tree that looks like it might drop some vines? Use secret power in front of the tree. Some vines should get free and drop down so you can climb a tree. You'll find a lot of space for putting your favorite things. It'll be like your own room, a secret place. 
You make one too. Another thing, you can't always, you don't always have to make a secret in a tree. That can be in rock walls and water and stuff. Okay, there we go. So now we have the almighty secret power TM. I love this move. I love it. It's scenic. It, it changes within the um, terrain you're in. You might like nature power, but it's always normal. 70 damage power, but its effect always changes. It's pretty unique. But who do I give it to? That's the question. Hmm. Who would like some secret power? Uh, maybe Combustion? I'm not sure. Maybe not Combustion, maybe plus a little Minin. Or Merle. I think Merle could do secret power pretty well. I think I know. Uh, hmm. No, I think I'll give it to um, Mining. Little Mining. Now Plusle's kind of left out. He needs another. He needs his own TM. Uh, I'll give it a mm, Growl. Because Quick Attack is handy, so is Helping Hand. Helping Hand is. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think I'll use it here, though. Uh, oh dear. Okay, so. Now we reach this area, which is the Resta. So this is pretty good because you can um, heal up here. It's a pretty long route, so you might not want to keep going back, you know. Oh dear, dear! Are your Pokémon exhausted? If you'd like, rest up here. That's a fine idea. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's heal up. Are you still tired? You should take another rest here. Oh, okay. May as well. Oh, dude, you're probably so tired. She's taking that rest here. No. Let's just carry on. Hmm, what is this? In search of trainers! Hi! Today I'm building an area near Route 11. We're trying to spot some up and coming new talent in the field. Today, we turned our lens on the trainer wing. There's something about this trainer that piped our interest. The best way to determine how strong a trainer is. Well, the fastest way is to battle, and so we began our investigation. Dot dot dot, that's how we ended up in a battle with Wing. In the dominating performance, we were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Wing is ruthlessly strong. Here's our impressions of after having battled our featured trainer. The combination of Minin and Lombre was divine. The sight of them, Minin and Lombre selflessly supporting each other in the thick of a battle. It was a marvelous sight to behold. Spark was a move the ch the move the trainer used last in our battle. The move Spark is Minin and Lombre's sign of friendship. After our battle, we asked Wing for a significant summary. The trainer replied, Happiness. Lombre and Happiness. Oh, that's deep. That's very deep. Very deep significance behind that quote. It's no surprise a good trainer has some good things to say. That's all for today. See you again for our next broadcast. What was that? But hey, we're on TV, Mom. Alright, let's carry on. Wait. Alright. Who's this? I watered the plants every day. They grew lots of flowers. And they gave lots of berries too. Here, you can have it. Oh, the raspberry. That's awesome. Raspberry's one of my favorite berries. But, um... I think my favorite berry has got to be... Like... Oh, I think I know. It's a uh, Pecha Berry. That's right. I like the Pecha Berry. Pecha and Raspberry and Chestal Berry. Hmm. Is, it, is there a Blueberry Base Berry? I don't think there is. Maybe the Luck Berry or something. Or maybe there's a berry called Blueberry and I just forgot about it. I don't know, but... Okay. Yeah, another cool trainer. Pokemon that look like serious actors. I have to ask you for an engagement. Okay, let's do this. Wingo. Let's, let's do secret. Let's do secret power. <laughs> there we go. He's already paralyzing enemies. Ah, oh, super potion. So yeah, super power can do a lot of uh, useful things in battle. It can paralyze, flinch, think, confuse. I'm not quite sure. But I uh, love super power, it's really awesome and unique. So it'll, it'll come in handy for uh, 
put a mine in one of places, you know, tough opponents that he probably can't be electric or something. Uh, what do we do? Attack up? <laughs> okay, um, maybe we'll switch out. Yeah, maybe we'll look for us on Paralyzed Hill too. Okay, good job team. We have a cold trainer number here. Do we have any full hill? I mean, whatever hill, I don't know. Please, I don't have to go all the way back to that house again. Uh, Paralyzed isn't, Paralyze isn't too bad. Oh, we're on Route 113. I love this route, I love it a lot. It's got, um... It looks like snow, but I think it's falling ash. Ah, Spinda! I love Spinda. You know what, I'm gonna try and capture Spinda. Because Spinda. Where's Pokeball? There we go. I don't think we can weaken the spin. Oh, yeah, we probably can with, um, Lombre. Okay, I better capture... I mean, weaken Pokemon. Okay, Lombre. Now you can finally be a useful Pokemon. Just don't overdo it. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we'll get there. One more absorb should do it. Okay, that's enough. Okay, bag. Here we go, Pokeball. Yes, we got Spinda. It is distinguished by a pattern of spots that is always different. Its unsteady, tottering walk has the effect of fouling its foe's aim. Okay, so what do we call Spinda? <laughs> what do we call Spinda? Hmm. We shall call him. I don't know. Just a name that I can't think of right now. I'm like this usually every time. Spinda, let me see. Uh, yeah, let's just call it... Whirl. There we go. Whirl was transferred to Box 1. I like grass appearing and stuff like that. I love it so much. Fun walking through the volcano's ashes on the ground and grass. You can see where you walk, it's really neat. I love this route. I always say that. Yeah, it's another trainer. Can you guess why it's so cool around here? Uh because my team is here obviously. I don't know. Oh see the power. Let's see what it does. <laughs> it does much shot in uh in in what is it? A kind of sandy terrain, I guess? You know. Okay, that blocks the sun, it's gonna get very warm. That's good for me, I can't stand the heat. Yeah, I like the heat better than the cold ash. I use this parasol to ward off the uh no no ash stuff. Okay, mine on secret power, not shock power. See when when you use a uh, secret power, it doesn't actually turn it into the move it looks like. It only uh its animation changes pretty much, but it still has seven, 70 power. It's always normal types, remember that. Um, it won't affect ghost types, so yeah. Keep that in mind. Oh, Spinda. <laughs> oh, for, oh, for a second they actually look like that. They actually look like the uh, exact same Spinda. I mean, that wouldn't have surprised me, because, you know, it is the game. And, you know, they could probably just duplicate one easily, but, you know, every spin is unique, and that's why Spinda is Spinda, I guess. Oh, level 28. <laughs> it's learning charm. Uh, nah. We're good. We got pretty good moves, actually. Uh, let's just use... Uh, I don't know what is going on. Hey. I shall use spark. And absorb. Oh, perfect. But the barrel is kind of struggling in the whole... Level department, I guess. I have a Spinda. Max effort. Okay. 
Okay, let's move on. Who's that Pokemon? Endo. Hmm, okay. Who's this guy? Yeah, so you can actually turn this stuff into uh, glass objects. Oh! Ninja! Ninja boy! Okay, secret power! I mean, spark! Wow, I'm losing it. <laughs> okay, here we use Merle, I guess. We have to train Merle, it's just... It could be tedious, I guess, but uh... You know, oh wow. Oh, survival. Good job, Merle. So I'm not gonna keep him out again because, you know. Okay, Ember should do it. There we go. Hiya! Witness the ancient ninja technique of Pokena registration. Impre I have to learn that. I must refine the art concealment. I bid thee farewell. Last workshop. Uh, fine. Let's just pop in quickly. This area is covered in volcanic ash. Puff, puff. I am specially gifted. Puff, puff. I make glass out of volcanic ash. Make others huff, puff. Don't collect ash with this. Huff, puff. Soot sack. Okay, so there we go. Just take that soot sack and walk through piles of ash. Huff, puff. And it will fill up with volcanic ash. Huff, puff. Once you think you've collected a good amount, come and see me. Huff, puff. They should, have, they should have made a Pokemon called Huff Puff and just have him be like the Huff Puff Master. Alright. So. I think we'll collect ashes now. We have to get to Lavridge. Oh wow, look at that design. So many. Lashes. Yeah, what are you doing? Okay. Aaron. The end spot. Ow, I can't see, I got ashes in my eyelashes. What, what? Ashes and eyelashes. <laughs> uh, Lobber Town. Uh, double battle, so let's do this. With these wings, I can flick you away. This guy has wings? Okay, Skarmory. How do we beat Azumarill? I mean... Meryl. So Skarmory's a pretty rare encounter in this game. Oh, the Swell too. Pretty impressive, to be honest. And there's the rollout. And there's the one-hit KO from Minin. More rollout, it seems. Come on, Minin, let's do this. Okay. One more Pokemon, and it's a Lumbre. I think I just called it a Lumbre. Lumbre. I don't know. Oh, what? What? Whoa! Oh, that could be bad. Oh, survival. <laughs> Whoa. So nature power in uh, Sandy Terrains is Earthquake. That's amazing. I gotta keep that in mind, because um, it's a pretty strong move. <laughs> oh, we're in for a lava town. It's a pretty nice town. It's quiet, they grow crops, and yeah, it's right next to a, um... It's right next to a, uh... A meteorite site. It's, it's next to a cave north for a... Where a meteorite fell, I think, from space. Oh, hello, you are? Oh, your name's Wing! I see you're a trainer! So that must mean you're using the poker stars to my thought. How I arrived at that conclusion is a simple deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something in this PC. I'm sorry, I'm Lynette. Lynette? Lynette? I don't know. So she is the creator of the PC system for... Okay, so we're in Flarber Town. Yeah, there's a few things you can do here, I guess. Um, like, talks to the sign, Flower Town, a farm community with small gardens. And also, there's is another one of those, uh, battle tent places here. Oh, it's the literal battle tent. 
May the greatest teams gather. Okay. So what do we go? What do we what do we do here? Um, yeah. Move to this house. Oh, it's the hard scale man. Man, this is the digging man. Fossil maniac's house. Hmm. Ah, TM28. I know what that is. That is dig. That is dig, I believe. Oh, Merle can have dig. Well, I don't think I'll teach dig to anybody, but I think I'll check out this little cave in here. I'm the fossil maniac. I'm an ass guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts are all belong to me, none for you. If you can't bear to go about a fossil, look in the desert where there are boulders and sand that may hide fossils. Fossils. Dun dun dun. Alright, let's go. Hey man, fisherman. I like to fish, but I also like to battle. If anyone challenges me, I'm there, even if I'm fishing. Please don't have a magic heart. Oh yeah. <laughs> Little floppy barboach there. The barboach is a how one poke coin, it's pretty cool. Wow, level 29? So okay, so he levels up pretty quickly, huh? Ah, uh, what is this? Oh my Pokemon, this is Roar, Sai. If you would take this team away. I don't want Roar. It's a Roar skin since Pokemon is scary. Bow, bow, wow. Okay, so this is a double battle, I can tell. Oh, okay. Me? I'm not just a pretty face. Yes, yeah, so another picnic here, I believe. Yeah. Why would you want to, why would you have to dress up to go? I don't get it. Oh wow. The hardened matter. Hmm. Alright, let's battle this dude as well. Ow, the end of the big one, a huh? huge one out of it. Please don't magic her. Okay, so I have a butterbot. <laughs> oh no, now we can't use spark on him. It's kinda convenient. In a way, but or about she's actually ground type. Oh, energy powder. That could be uh, pretty handy. I think. Uh... Oh, I see. Item that cures a uh, status effect, I believe. Pretty much a full heal. Oh, magic card. All right, this would be a good, a good time to give Merle some EXP. A very good time indeed. Uh, a couple beams that we have right now. Oh wow, he has magnitude. Magnitude can go up to about power 100, I believe, isn't that right? Magnitude 10 is power, is power 100, I believe. And gold beam will give to Merle, who I probably should have given secret power. Look at that damage. No, I think I'll use roll out. Are there any teams that Merle could have? I don't think that. Maybe a water, water GM, but nothing, you know, physical or anything. I don't wanna evolve me out. Okay. I think I'll try my luck at landing a big one at Meteor Falls. There has to be something in there, I just know it. Uh, here's the mountainous route. I need to exercise after a meal. Let's have a match. Meryl, 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 and that's everywhere. Ah, Lombre, okay. I want to use Combuskin some more. And then double kick. Tasty meal, I'm getting drowsy. Huh. Somebody spiked your meal. Would you like a side of rapid spin of that? I don't know. Okay, secret power and absorb. Let's see how much absorb does in a grappler. Oh, okay. Let's just do the same thing again. I really should switch 
mine around somebody. He's getting a lot of EXP. This guy. Very crush machine. Oh, I have a raspberry, okay. Did you use our hard berries? Fun to think about. Not really. I pretty much just collect berries actually. Oh wing, I'm sorry everything is so cluttered. Look at this place. But they are a PC owner person after all, so little tattoo, that's awesome. I remember that in um Ruby version you get the C dot doll and Sapphire you get the uh, Lotta doll. Camping's fun, you can fish, roast marshmallows and tell spooky stories. But the best of all are the Pokemon battles. Too true. Sand true. Secret power. I shall beat you? Yeah, you did it. Nestle, I should have used Combustion. I haven't used Plus 2 for a while. Ugh, oh, so close. Okay. I think it's great that I can go camping with my Pokemon. Yeah, camping seems pretty fun too in the Pokemon world. I mean, you could encounter like a, I don't know, shiny Sasquatch in the woods or something. I don't know. Foo foo foo. Wants a battle against my Pokemon? That's like the most bizarre laugh in all the Pokemon games. Like really. Level 30? Don't forget what you've done to me. I'll make it so you can't forget. We got Steve. Okay. A big fight is all lumpy and hard and almost spawns in vicious fangs. Wait, what did he say? Lumpy and hard and almost horns. Horns. <laughs> uh, that's probably why horn. Um, what was I gonna do with this now? Well, there's nothing even good. Mm, no. Let's just carry on. Oh dear, who's that Pokemon? Oh, Swablu. Let's try catching it. Wow, needle arm health secret power there. Okay, great ball, let's get him all swap blue. We got swap blue, okay. Cotton bird Pokemon, what do we call a swap blue? Uh, let's just call it. Yeah, you know what's coming. Let's call it. Even though the 9 is completely irrelevant. And there's a car boss here, that's right. Another swapper. Bye. Oh dear. Uh, I want a low tap too. This, this is a pretty nice area in Holland. It's pretty, uh. I love mountain areas in games, to be honest. Well, they're always interesting. And high up in things. If you're allowed in a campfire, make sure you have water handy. Look, man. Spark. And he has a wing goal. Time for a fossil. Okay, let's spark. Just keep on sparking. You set my spirit on fire. It's right as to each other. It seems my. Like... Oh dear. More battles. It seems my number is pretty popular, Bobby's trainer. I always requested Secret Power is Rock Throw. <laughs> and it confuses, yeah, that's pretty cool. Secret Power again. Oh, it's too weak. It's not doing a lot of damage. Come on, confusion caps. Here we go. Can we tap? <laughs> uh, oh no! Come on, Ryan, you can do it. Okay. I got worked up for nothing. Whenever you see like ground moves being used on like uh, you know electric Pokemon like mine, who is kind of tiny, you get worried, I guess. Oh, oh, Bulbuck. Okay. Um. Uh, I 
guess we can go to Smash for a ball cut. It's gonna close his evolution actually. Which is pretty cool because I'm going to fall. Or taking oh, kind of paralysis up there. I'm just gonna turn off like the secret power. It's kind of becoming less of a secret though. I'm just like using it in every battle. There's a little plus of there. Okay, we're nearly on the Uh, what is it? Draco Fall? Meteor Fall, that's the place. Okay, final chainer. You're supposed to shout, Yodelay Hee Hoo! Hee Hoo! Since it doesn't echo here. Echo here. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, goodbye, cutie. Oh dear, the magnitude. Magnet dude. Hmm, much job. Oh wow, critical hit. You're my Miku! <laughs> I like that. Uh, whoops. When I was a big tyke, I believe there was somebody copying me and shouting back, You're my Miku! I don't know why I gave him a sovereign back something. Video falls. All right. Ah, who's that Pokemon? Oh wow, Solar. I'm gonna try getting it. Oh wow. Well, we've only got one uh, great boss, so here goes nothing. Oh, I hate Solar. It's pretty hard to get, I, I, I don't know. But I guess it can be useful. Oh wow. With this video right, that thing and Mount Chimney will... Huh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you think you have your way of the world. Ah! Yeah, even Team Magma joined us. But it's too much trouble to deal with you all. It doesn't matter. We got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chimney we go. Be seeing a team up with Dingbat. Did not see you before at the Slate Ports Museum? Ah, so your name is Wayne. At the time, I thought you were Team Magma's students. Huh, you were one or two. Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. They engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. They are the rivals to us, a sea loving Team Magma. Boss, we should give chase to Team Magma. Yes, we must. We got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do about Mount Chimney. Wayne, did you keep an eye out for Team Magma too? Farewell. Yeah, so we have to go to Mount Chimney now. That's right. Yeah, uh, who's that Pokemon? Ah, oh, the Soul Rock has returned. Who's that guy? I am Cosmo. I am a professor. Team Magma asked me to guide him to Meteor Falls. But they tricked me. They even took me Meteorite. And then another similar bunch of Team Magma showed up. After that, I don't understand any of it. But that Team Magma, what are they going to do with the meteorite at Mount Chimney? Uh, well, it's only one way to find out. Uh, well, I'm pretty surprised. Like, so that's pretty uncommon in Meteor Falls. Kind of. You know, obviously Zubat would be the more popular encounter, but I'm not complaining. I prefer Soul Rock to Lumaton also. Lumaton is pretty is the one getting Sapphire. Soul Rock is the one getting Ruby. And obviously Lumaton is the moon Pokemon or whatever. Soul Rock resembles the the sun. And Soul Rock has pretty nice moon actually, like Green Floor, Rock Slide, uh, Psychic, and of course Carmine, Solar Beam as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Sunny Day. Oh well, yeah, it's nice to have. Lunatone is more about rock throw rock slide uh, ice beam psychic. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Come on mind. <laughs> All that. I think it's rain dance too. Wouldn't be surprised. So we now have to give chase to Team Magma in Mount Chimney. I guess we'll see how that all goes in the next episode of my Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Advanced. I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all next time.